work. I've just arrived at this altitude. Doing practically anything uh, gets me out of breath. So these women who've been both digging and singing as they as they carry out their work are obviously much better acclimatized to the high altitude than I am. Not many journalists have been allowed into Tibet since the unrest in Lhasa, the capital, and some of the surrounding cities in March. We've been invited, along with a number of other international journalists, to cover one specific event. That's the Olympic torches attempt to get to the top of Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. Everyone we've spoken to on this trip, everywhere we've been, has been planned by the Chinese authorities. We've moved around in a convoy of buses, so they've basically kept control of who we see and what we do. And that is the great mountain itself. You can just see the snow being blown off the very top of the mountain. First conquered in 1953 uh, by Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay. The story of the Olympic torches procession around the world has so far been one of protests about China's role in Tibet. The organizers of the torches bid to reach the top of Mount Everest are hoping that by doing that, they'll tra transform it into a story of Chinese achievement. Jonah Fisher reporting, and we do apologise for that terrible mic rattle. We'll have to put it down to uh, excitement on Jonah Fisher's part. Now, an earthquake measuring 5.8 on the Richter scale has been felt across southern parts of Mexico. The quake hit, the, hit south of the town of Telaluapan at a depth of 55 metres, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. It was felt in some areas of Mexico City. So far, there have been no reports of damage or injury.